Many people in Colorado are fully vaccinated, but that doesn't mean you can't catch COVID-19. When a fully vaccinated person gets the virus, medical experts are calling it a breakthrough case. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pio Coley, joins us now to talk about those cases. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Corey. So what percentage of people who are getting these breakthrough cases, fully vaccinated people, are we talking about? That's a tough question to answer, Corey, because we actually don't know. Because okay. if you think about it, it's called detection bias. If we're fully vaccinated and we are unlikely to have symptoms, so we may not even go and get tested, so we may not know. Okay. There are states like New Jersey, however, that are reporting that 18 and a half percent of their positive cases are coming back in fully vaccinated people. Really? Mm -hmm. What do we know about who is getting the breakthrough cases? So this is important to know. So we do have learned recently that largely the breakthrough cases are occurring in the population that we would expect it to occur in, those that perhaps don't have as robust an, an immune response. So those over the age of 65, so three out of four cases are in people over 65, those who are immunocompromised. And just last week, the New England Journal of Medicine actually released a study that said we can look for a blood test to predict who's going to get a breakthrough case or who may be higher risk. And that blood test is essentially for neutralizing antibodies that would neutralize the virus if you were exposed to it. Okay, so let's talk about the clinical trials. You know, data said that when these came out, this was 100% effective. Talk about, about how that's changed recently. It has changed and we sort of expect it to change because number one, the clinical trial is a very controlled environment and you really can't replicate that in the real world. Number two, when we were doing the clinical trial, we were dealing with the original Wuhan strain and maybe the alpha variant. Mm -hmm. Now we have this much more contagious Delta variant. And number three, which is really interesting and kind of boggles your mind to think about, but the efficacy of the vaccine depends on how much infection is in the community. So it really doesn't operate in a bubble. So if you have a lot of cases around, the vaccine's not going to work as well. If you don't have as many, it'll be much more effective. Very interesting. Okay, last question. So if someone is vaccinated and they have a breakthrough case, can they get other people in their house sick? Very important question. A lot of my patients are calling me and saying, oh, I tested positive for COVID. And I said, well, did you isolate yourself and quarantine from others? And they say, oh, I didn't know that I needed to. And the answer is yes. So unlike the other variants, the Delta variant, even in vaccinated people can be given off to others. Now, the good news there is that you're not as infectious for as long. So even though you're able to infect others, the in infectious period where you're able to expose others to risk is much shorter. Well, I'm glad we brought you in because I know I see so much stuff on social media about breakthrough cases and so you kind of busted some facts and fiction there so as always dr coley thank you so much for coming in